So, I had a truck that came in with the uh, service trailer brake system. There was a warning message on the, on the dash. This was for a 2019 GMC Sierra Elevation. And um, yeah, it just happened out of nowhere. He said he hooked onto a trailer, but it was like a couple weeks after that, that this warning message come on. And it would come on every time he would start the truck. So we took a look at it and uh, basically started with figuring out how the system works. Where's the wiring, where's the module. So underneath of the truck, you've got your, your trailer brake module. And then this is in by the back, the spare tire. So if you're underneath looking towards the front of the vehicle, you got your spare tire and it's just above the spare tire on a bracket. So you have closest to the spare tire is your, um, your chassis control module. It's an auxiliary module. And then beside it is your um, trailer brake module. So I scanned the vehicle. It had a, a fault code U1556, which was uh, the chassis control module lost communication with the uh, power brake control module. So the first thing I did was check for power and ground on this thing. Um, and I had power and ground. And then I checked for power and ground on the uh, auxiliary chassis control module, which I figured I would because it's losing communication with this module. And I, I did. And then um, I checked the communication wire, your local interconnect network wire or LIN. And uh, I just checked continuity between the two modules and it was okay. So the pinouts as far as uh, what to test on your trailer brake control module will be pin number one is power, pin number nine is ground, and pin 12 is your LIN wire or your communication wire which is green and violet. Um, and then on the auxiliary chassis control module, one is power, 13 is ground, and 30 is LIN. So basically this thing looked pretty clean from the outside. I hate just replacing modules, so may I made sure that I double checked all my wiring. Everything tested good, so I thought, okay, we're gonna put a module on it, and we did. And the fault went away, everything worked. So then you can see there's some corrosion and stuff around here, um, but cleaning it up, it didn't look terrible. So I went ahead and, and opened this thing up to see what it was like. And before I show you, there is a bulletin for uh, the connector that plugs into this trailer brake control module. There's a wire that doesn't uh, go in there. It's just an empty slot, but there's a rubber plug in there and I guess they get pushed in and the seal gets compromised and the pins get all nasty. But as you can see, the pins look nice and clean. So pried this thing open and as soon as I opened it, it was full of water. So you can see all this dried, crusty, salt, salty water got in here and where we live, they dump piles and piles of salt on the road in the wintertime. And as you can see, it just wreaks absolute havoc on these modules. Now they do put a nice uh, silicone and it's pretty tough stuff as well. And they glue this backing onto it, even though this is pretty thin. You could see- uh, Maybe right there. Yeah, you could see like here and a little spot right there where it's been compromised, but it was still like over the seal. So I wasn't too sure. Right there, I think there's just- uh, Contact. A, yeah, contact. So uh, I'm just going to take this board off and take this off here. I think that the seal around this connector got uh, compromised just from corrosion. It gets in there, it spreads things apart, and then uh, roasts your circuit board.